Hi there, this is Mina once again and welcome to another episode of Productivity Tuesday. So in today's video, we are going to see what exactly are password manager, why you should use them and how to use LastPass effectively. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so what exactly are password manager or what problem does it solve? Well, let's consider this situation. Say you have multiple social accounts like on Facebook, Google, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and the list goes on and on. So an average user these days has to remember dozen of password, right? Now one way to fix this problem is to use same password on each account. However, I don't have to tell you how big security is, is this. Say if somebody get holds of your one password, then the security of your entire accounts will get compromised, right? So, a second way to fix this problem is to use a different post fix for each password. This way you can choose one base password which will be same for each website and then you can add a unique word after every password. A pretty common technique for advanced users. In fact, I use the same for past 2 years. But trust me, once your list start increasing, this technique will also fail. Been there and done that. So the ultimate solution is to use a password manager. The sooner you start is better. And what it does is, it stores all your password in an encrypted database and then log the database using a master password. Now basically there are two types of password manager, a offline password manager and online password manager. Now the difference between both of them is, the offline password manager, it stores all your password in the local machine like one password. And the online password manager stores all your password in a remote server like we do in the last pass. So although both of them are storing your password in an encrypted format, the security is more in the offline password manager since the data is not leaving your computer. But then again, if you own multiple devices like I do, then online password managers make more sense. So let's see how it looks like with and without password manager. For instance, let's take Amazon. Now without a password manager, I will either have to type in the complete login credential or like what most of you will do is use a built-in browser password manager. But that is not safe at all. Anybody can see your password by using the simple inspector email option. And then they will also get the idea about your pattern. Now if you have a password manager then all you have to do is click on the password area and then select the login credential from the pop-up. And also no one can see your password using the inspect element hack. And the best part is it also works on your smartphone. For instance, if you have LastPass installed on your smartphone and then you try to log into any website, then LastPass will prompt you to use the login credentials that are saved inside its database. Pretty cool, right? So now that we know the basic, let's see how to set up and use LastPass effectively. Start by going to the LastPass official website. Now like all the other applications in this Productivity Tuesday series, LastPass also follow the freemium model. That is, a part of the service is free and to get the rest, you will have to pay. And in case of LastPass, you can use it for free only on one type of device. That is, it can be your computer or smartphone. And if you want to use it on both computer and smartphone simultaneously, then you will have to get the premium membership. It costs $1 per month and it's totally worth it. But if you're just getting started, I suggest you take the free version for computer and later if you like, you can always upgrade it. So basically LastPass is a browser extension which you have to download and then create a free account. This also means that you can access all your password from your friend's computer as well. All you have to do is download the extension and log into your account and that's it. However, this option is not available in one password or any other offline password manager. Now once the extension is installed and you have created the free account, go to any website and log into your account. The moment you press the submit button, you will see a notification asking if you want to save the login credentials to last part. Click on OK and that's it. Now here is the tedious part. You will have to repeat this for every website that you want to store inside LastPass. However, once you get everything under the same hold, the results are going to be rewarded in long run. Trust me on that. Now other than being a password manager, LastPass also offer other features like secure autofill, password generator and they have recently added one tap authentication, a similar service like Authy. 
but instead of manually typing the six digit code, you will have to tap on OK, kind of like Google one tap authentication. But I still use Authy because I don't think it's a good idea to give control to one app, especially when it comes to security. However, for password manager, LastPass is the best option. Well, this is pretty much it. This was probably my last video on Productivity Tuesday series. The response was not what I have expected, but there are other series, so check that out. So that being said, give this video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it and leave a comment if you have a video suggestion. So that's it for now. This is Milan signing off and like always, thanks for watching.